Oh, blimey. Hello, mercenaries. Welcome back to another Mad Mason video. I'm going straight into it with this one. No preparation. If the sound don't work, then screw me. Yeah. But yes, I'm here to show you. This is a quick little update video. Uh, I do have hobby crafting in my garage. I've got some bits and bobs. And uh, if you don't know a YouTuber called uh, Photon, Photonic Inductions, that's the channel, and the man himself is Photon. But um, he actually does the name I... He doesn't say his name. I think someone of actually said, him, but I haven't listened, paid attention to his videos for a while. He kind of blows up appliances. He kind of blows up appliances with loads of stuff. Like ele he, blow he pretty much is an electrician, and he blows stuff up with it. What I try to do earlier is uh, was a dangerous thing. I knew it was a, I knew it was, but I thought it wouldn't be that bad. But I discovered something. You know how you can get your big boxes, big, big, big uh, black boxes with the uh, transformer boxes for your phone? Or a uh, decoration, you know if your trees had decorations and then at the 240s they had like little LEDs that you have to big, have a big transformer shoved, in the, shoved, into the plug, shoved into the wall to narrow the down. But um, I tried reversing the polarity and uh, yeah this is where the two, uh, 24 volt came out. This is two... 24 volt and uh, the uh, it's an AC by the way and uh, this is 240 goes in here 24 comes out here so what would happen if you put it in so you put 240 in here 2400 would come out of here what did happen was um I tripped the whole circuit I didn't trip the house I just tripped the circuit because uh, my garage is um, not in its own circuit which is annoying and uh, I might actually fit in a consumer unit I'll obviously give you a grand tour when I get a video camera so um, you'll see Mad Mason's Man Cave I've only just made it up on the spot Mad Mason's Man Cave that's perfect yeah um, yeah uh, it's still warm because I literally only popped it just a few seconds ago and you can tell by uh, all the uh, uh, the burnt stuff there and all at the bottom there because uh, cause this is where the power this, this is where 240 watt went in and I thought why not just gonna, if it does thing it would trip but um I didn't know how bad it would trip uh, it happened under a split second uh, there was I'm not joking there was nothing connected to this end here there was literally just 240 volts going into here and then <laughs> literally I'll describe the sound of it that is legit the sound what if it if just a little bit more electronic um yeah and then uh went back into the garage and it was all smoking that's <laughs> uh, but the good thing my garage is super cold hence why it's super ventilated um so yeah it's still warm it's cooling down very slowly but um yeah this is where 240 goes in this is where 24 come in and I did have one which had 12 volts so if I put 240 into that it would have went um, it would have doubled that but it kind of it would kind of ha it would put oh, it would put two it would put 102 20 volts in it I've just calculated it out right now because you put you could put 24 volts in the thingy of the 12 volt bit then what you're gonna get out of that I have no clue 12 volt. 12 volts goes with the thing, and yet with the thing, but then, uh, uh, but I like this was a 24 one. I wanted to risk it, and I thought, why not? But I forgot that this was a pretty small one because it was a downgrade. So, uh, yeah, I got a pretty bad startle, and my mum was watching. T my mum is still watching TV in the next room, which still surprises me because I thought I would have tripped the whole house. But luckily, I looked inside, and it was literally just a plug socket. Mm. So and yeah, my garage is hooked up to a circuit of plug sockets. Any electricians watching this would be like, it should have its own consumer unit from the main power. Yes, it should. I know. But um, you know, let's have, let's get that camera looking down at me. So yeah, I did that. Electricians probably watching this. Well, if you are an electrician, or if anybody just saying, if you, if actually if your kids watching and you know your dad's electrician. Just show him this video and it'll make him go mad. I am learning to be an electrician. Don't kill me. But yeah, uh, I believe that you learn by doing stuff. And if you do a major fuck up like I did, hence why we've invented trip switch. <laughs> NBC port. NBC, uh, 
activators. Uh, for if you've watched my last video or what? Well, yeah, my last video of showing my uh, showing uh, you these, uh, showing you these, and uh, you would have noticed I talked about a little ulcer right here. I got some Bonjela. Not as not as sponsored, but you know, Bonjela is a general. Not is a general uh, working man's thing. So yeah, um, it tripped one circuit in my consumer box and uh, basically what happened was um, I was soldering it on as you can see it's got like a little so it's got solder on there and everything if it can focus but um, yeah uh, it was so I soldered it and I was just like alright let's do it switched it on three seconds later zzz, so basically the power is building up as I did it and I wanted to test how much voltage was coming out and I knew it would be 2400 but I wanted to see if my voltmeter could take it but I did literally just spend like 20 quid on that and I didn't want to break it but you know so that'd be and uh, well before I could test it the lights went out <laughs> literally because my, cause my whole garage my garage is on one circuit and literally it's like um, okay how do I describe this okay let's see uh, so we've got the input power coming into the garage then I've got two switches the one was a plug but you know I have two switches uh, like light switches kind of things one with the, both with fuses and one with a little light one is for the outside decking in my garden I've got to get a glass moulded thing for that or just get a, a, a thermoplastic cover for it and then just make sure, and then just replace the bulb and then we've got like, other things like underneath and that usually lights up the whole thing and that like goes around the thing, you know, and that's the thing. But that was the entrance. That's where the power came into the garage because it was a plug. And then uh, uh, the power that came into the garage was literally just one cable, one of the you know the thick grey cable that you, you know, that you see at like big, like you get the big wheel and then you put it through the plugs. That's the sort of cable that went through the throat, which is understandable. But um, it went into my light switch and literally another boat joined in with that light switch so the current can carry on well the power could carry down the line into another switch but then that switch went past into that into that one don't forget into that one and that had an output going to the lights and then another thing joining that one joining the first one the inputs to to have two two like three like live neutral and earth into the first one and then you record and then bring it out back and I'm looking at the time and I'm thinking oh shit and uh, like it's so so pretty much all my things I should really be separating all of it so if my switches go off the cons like a consumer switch goes switch like that so I really need to fit a consumer box not even for my purpose but if anybody else is going to live in there uh, because I'm moving out soon well I think so I hope not but um I need to fit it. I need to fit a consumer unit box in there anyway, but I kind of need a Sparky to do that. So anyway, anyway, that's the update. That's just a little update of what I do in my everyday life. This is still full of fucking warm. Anyway, I better end this video before it ends. Okay, all right, my snows. Thank you very much for watching, and don't forget, and don't forget, Mad Mason out.